I am Rick and you are watching Rick FPV and today I am going to show you how you can print TPU 3D prints in multicolor without the need of any fancy AMS or a bamboo printer. You can do this with any regular 3D printer and how I did this multicolor prints let me explain it to you. So this is how it was done. First of all I used my slicer to slice this model. So this model was printed bottom to top like this portion below was on the build plate and the different colors are on different layers. So the entire body was printed with blue. And then I switched to white TPU and the final part was printed with red TPU. So what I did was uh, in my slicer, I sliced the entire model. And then in the slicer itself, I went to the layer in which the color was about to change. So I added a pause statement just before the layer from where I need to change the color. What that did was it paused the 3D printer at this specific layer. And after it paused, I changed the filament from blue to white and then resumed the print. So the printer then started printing over this with white color and this is how we printed this entire model in different colors using just our normal 3D printer. But since we are doing this with TPU material you need to keep some things in mind. Make sure your slicer and printer is perfectly tuned to print TPU material because TPU is notoriously known for clogging printers and failing prints. Make sure to use the same brand of TPU for all the colors that will ensure that you have the highest possible strength and layer addition between, uh, between different colors. And it will also make sure that your print does not fail in between. Another thing to keep in mind is that you should not directly feed TPU into your 3D printer if the previous material that was used was also TPU. Especially because we are changing the colors and all of them are TPU. So after we are done with the blue TPU, we will retract the blue TPU, pull it out. Then we will use a hard filament like PLA. We will put this PLA into our 3D printer and retract. And this PLA will clean out any of the TPU that is left in our nozzle. Otherwise the leftover TPU can clog your 3D printer if you do not clean it out using a hard material. So after we have retracted the PLA, we can fit in the next color of TPU that we want and then resume the print as usual. So let's go to the slicer now and I will show you how you can manually add pause statements in between G codes. So alright, we are on our slicer. I am using Ultimaker Skewra. You can use any slicer of your choice. Make sure all the settings are tuned perfectly so that your printer does not get clogged while printing with TPU. I will import in the model. So this is how our model needs to be placed. I am not going to go into details about my TPU settings because this is just a video to show you how you can do multicolor prints. So I will just be hitting the slice and after it has sliced we will go into preview and we will ensure that it has sliced properly. Yeah it has sliced properly so what we will do now is we will save the g-code. Now we need to open up notepad and open the g-code that we just saved into notepad. So you need to check out with your specific slicer that you are using how it names each layer. Uh, but I know for Cura how it names each layer. Uh, the layer number that we are currently on minus one is the layer that we need to see in the G-code. That means if we are on 244 that means in the G-code 243 will be this 244th layer that is shown in the slicer itself. So we will just reduce the layers until we reach the part where we need to change the color. So yeah right. Uh, 200 till 200 it will print with one color and from 201 it will change color so before 201 i need to put the pause statement so like 200 it prints 200 completely and pauses and then i change the filament and then it goes ahead and prints 201 so i need to find 201 layer so that i can put the pause statement before it and as i said in cura the system goes as the layer minus one so we will find we will go into notepad, press ctrl F and we will search for 200. We will go for layer 200 because this is 201 layer and 201 minus 1 means 200. So we will go and find 200. So this is, so this layer 200 is the start of 200 and first layer. So before this we will add the pause statement. And there we have it. Before starting the 200 that means 200 plus 1 201 layer it will pause it will print this layer and pause and then I will change the color and then I will hit resume and it will start printing the 201st layer similarly we will go up till we need to change the color again so 238 is where we need to change the color so we will add a pause statement before the 238 layer that means 237 we need to find for 237 237 there it is layer 237 and we will add a pause statement before this 
and then we will just save this G code. So yeah, that was pretty much it. I need to change the color just two times for this specific print. And then I will just send this G code over to my printer and then we can go and start the print. All right, so I have my TPU loaded and make sure your TPU is completely dry, which I've dried in my dryer for like eight hours. And make sure before you feed TPU into your machine, there is some sort of rigid material being fed. Like for now, I have white PLA fed into my system. And what I can do is I can just hit retract. So the white PLA will ooze out of the nozzle clear out the nozzle and then the white PLA will be pulled out clearing the entire nozzle then I can feed in the TPU or the flexible material. This is especially important while we are changing the TPU filament uh, in between the print so that the printer does not clog. If the printer clogs in between a print then the entire print will fail. So while we are changing the TPU filament in between a print it's better to retract the current TPU and then feed in some PLA retract that so that the PLA oozes out of the nozzle clears the nozzle out and then again pull that PLA out and put the new color of TPU that we want to print with into the machine. So for now the white PLA that I have I will retract that and I will set the temperature a little bit higher than the printing temperature of the filament that is 240 degrees Celsius and then I will hit retract. So as you can see the white PLA has started retracting. So the retraction process means that some of the PLA, some of the filament will ooze out of the nozzle and then it will be pulled back so that the entire system or the entire funnel from the feeder into the nozzle gets cleared. So now that the white PLA has been retracted successfully, I will pull the white PLA out and feed in the green TPU. Now that I've fed the green TPU into the feeder, I will just hit extrude and that will start the extrusion process for the green TPU. So as you can see, the green TPU has started oozing out of the nozzle. The entire white PLA has been pushed out of the nozzle and now the green TPU is being extruded. So the extrusion process is done. We will wait for the nozzle to cool down and then we will start our print. So I will just enable the fan on my printer so that the nozzle co cools down a bit faster. Once the nozzle has been cooled down, you need to clear out the extrusions. And now we can just start our print. So now I will just hit print and our printer has started its process of calibration once the calibration is done the print will start and then i will meet you again when the print stops in between when the print pauses and i will show you how to change the filament all right so as you can see the print has stopped this was the first pause statement and what i will do now is i will change the filaments so i will hit retract because i have a tpu right now the green tpu will be retracted so the tpu has been retracted and i will pull the tpu out and i will just leave the tpu here for a while and as i've said i will be using a little bit of pla to clear out the nozzle i will put this in and hit retract again so that this PLA clears out the nozzle and uh, pushes out any excess TPU from the nozzle so that we do not get a clog the next time we put in uh, another TPU of a different color. So till the retraction process with the PLA takes place, I will change the color. So as you can see some the excess TPU has been pushed out and the PLA has cleared away for our next color that is black. So I will just pull out the PLA, make a seam cut at the end and put the PLA back into the tube and then we will be taking our next color of TPU that is black and we will put it into the feeder and hit extrude so it has started extruding the TPU the black TPU is coming out right now and we will hit resume also we will keep the black TPU the excess black TPU from getting into the print that would be a bit tricky but now we have done it and the print has resumed 
and with that we have finished our uh, multicolor tpu 3d print and this is how it looks it's flexible and it is made up of multiple colors so well this is a this is an order for a customer with his uh, initials or name printed on top of uh, the case so this was how you can print multicolor on any 3d printer and especially with tpu material that is what i showed you in this video and so go ahead and enjoy your multicolor prints